Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft rolled out their latest Dev Channel Insider Preview Build 23575. And just to let you know about a new hidden feature that's been spotted in this latest Dev Channel Build. Now, I'll leave the video for Build 23575 down below if you would like to um, catch up on official new changes and improvements that rolled out uh, in the Dev Channel this week. But uh, this uh, latest hidden feature, once again, has been spotted by Phantom Ocean 3 over on X. And it's regarding the Windows Copilot, which brings centralized AR to the Windows 11 desktop. Now, currently in the stable version and also the preview versions of Windows 11, uh, Copilot does not open automatically when you uh, start up and boot up your system and sign into Windows. You have the option to click on the icon or the button in the taskbar uh, to open and close uh, the uh, Windows 11 Copilot. Now this could all be set to change. And um, if we head over to the first of two screenshots provided by Phantom Ocean 3, here we can see that uh, Copilot in Windows as, this, as mentioned, this is a hidden feature in the latest Dev Channel build. Copilot in Windows uh, is getting a settings page in settings uh, personalization. And here we can see Copilot in Windows startup behavior. And if we click on that, if we go to the next screenshot, we can see its own uh, settings page in settings. Where we have a toggle which says open Copilot when Windows starts. Now just take note though that if you toggle this on, when you're using a wider screen, it says Copilot opens automatically. So if you don't have a wide screen, and it's going to be interesting to see what Microsoft terms a wide screen. So if you don't have a wide screen, this will not open up Copilot automatically. But if you do, if that's toggled on, when you're using a wider screen, Copilot opens automatically. So that's the hidden feature uh, that's been spotted um, on that personalization page. And currently though, um, this is not working. So it's a dead feature. It's still very early days. And as many of you may know now who have viewed the channel for a while, um, hidden features um, are code and features that Microsoft uh, could be testing internally. And a lot of these hidden features do make their way into official uh, testing in the Insider program. And then some of, them, some of them even do roll out to the stable version in the future. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I'll keep my eyes on this one. And I think... This may be a nice option, just having that option available. It's always great when Microsoft does give us options to personalize where we, where we can turn off and turn on different features. And um, as mentioned, that's been spotted in build 23575 as a hidden feature. And if anything more does become available, obviously, I will keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.